I'm your host, Sheldon Alexander, and we are fully into playoff mode. The Stanley Cup playoffs are underway. The NBA second round is into high gear, and the record against the spread on the pod still chugging along. We'll see how things go. Uh, the Grizzlies and Warriors. The Grizzlies even up their series at, with the 106-101 victory, which was, as mentioned, the only game was wrong in the pod. And you know what? I'm okay with that because at the end of the day, I sat down and could only be in awe of what Ja Moran was doing. 47, 8, and 8, 18 points in the fourth quarter. He was dropping dudes that movie he had on Jordan Poole where Poole like spun around and like touched the floor. Like that was just <laughs> insane stuff going on from John Moran. What a scene. But as mentioned, the series is now one and one, right? Tied up at one Saturday warriors are favored by six and a half. And that's interesting to me because I don't really want to lay the points, but I will. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay. The yeah. Warriors lose the close games, right? I think the Warriors are going to win this series. Okay, follow me. Okay. Follow this yeah, list yeah. of logic. You, you, I think the Warriors you're, are going to You're quoted as saying they win in six, right? Yes. That was last episode. So I think the Warriors win this series, but the games the Warriors will win will be blowouts. Interesting stat. Warriors are 13 and 13 this season in games decided by five points or less. Okay. They are yeah. front runners. When they come home to that crowd in game three, that will be the game that I'm going to trust in the fact that Clay Thompson isn't going to struggle like he did in game two. Clay mm-hmm. and Steph combined were just 16 for 44 in that game two on the road. Mm-hmm. And they still almost won. They were up 98, 93 with like three minutes left in that game before Ja went Ja, right? Mm-hmm. And the interesting thing will come down to, okay, well, who's going to guard Ja? Right. Like that's because you mentioned Gary Payton Jr. earlier, which I think will be very indicative of what's going to happen in this series going forward. But at the end of the day, I'm still trusting in the Warriors. And as we look at in the game three, I don't like the six and a half points, but I just see it being the front running game where all the threes are going in. Jordan Poole, you know, solidifies his spot as the best warrior. And uh no. Nothing. Nothing. No, I'm joking. I'm, joking. I'm <laughs> no, just trying to get the reaction. I, just trying to get the I reaction. I was holding my tongue. I was oh, no, no, I, I literally, you, I I literally bit my tongue. I literally bit my tongue. Just being stupid. Tongue. Just being stupid. stupid. But the point remains, I don't like it, but I'm on the Warriors minus six and a half in game three on Saturday. Um, what do you think, man? So I thought you were going to say, I don't want to lay the point, uh, lay the points with the Warriors. So I'm not because mm-hmm. I'm not like, to me, mm-hmm. this is, I, again, yeah. they might cover, you might get be it. right. Like all of that sort of thing. I'm just, I'm just not, that would be my, my cross off. Mm-hmm. Now, does that mean I'm betting Memphis? The answer to that is probably, but this isn't exactly, <laughs> I've, it's not exactly I've already bet it in the yeah. same way that Milwaukee is, I've already bet it, right? So parse that out however you need to. Because again, like I, I referenced it, so I don't need to rehash this about the, you know, when I talked about the Suns, but like, I might be the only one who's just not that into this edition of the Warriors. And we talked about the matchup and this being like a, a Draymond Green kind of just, you know, meandering around defense type of thing, which isn't a bad thing. He's still an excellent defensive player, right? But it's almost like, and listen, it's obviously different environment, all of that sort of thing. It's almost like he doesn't really know what to do with himself in this series sometimes. Like it's 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 positive sometimes, it's negative a lot of times. We're firing off, you know, fingers to the crowd. We're getting tossed out of games, all of that sort of thing. And you mentioned Clay Thompson struggling because like that guy, again, multiple surgeries on multiple catastrophic injuries to his legs. Like we just, he's just on the downside. Like we talk about the Warriors. It's why we wanted the Warriors early in the playoffs as aggressively as we did because the mileage on these guys is just up there and you mentioned you know we both mentioned Peyton like part of the Draymond thing is like no he's not going to go guard John Morant so they have to find somebody else to do it and Clay isn't the defensive player that he used to be and so and Peyton's out and like again it's a bad matchup you know Draymond's not going to do like it's just it doesn't really fit so like I don't see why Morant couldn't still be awesome and again we're not requesting that they even win this game They're, we're just sort of requesting that this game is close and I kind of think that it's going to be and like 
okay, so then they go, they're, you know, 13 and 13 in close games. I mean, part of that might be they're just really good free throw shooters and can extend a four point game to a six point game, right. More often than most. Right. So there you, you sort of play with the numbers there a little bit as well. So I think this is Memphis or nothing for me. You know, we went through the first four games and, and didn't, or first three games and didn't have a disagreement. I think we're in disagreement here, even though I think we both sort of understand the position of the other person. Um, if I had to bet it by the time Saturday rolls around, I will probably have a ticket on Memphis, especially if we see an uptick to a half point, you know, even a plus seven would be great as long as I don't have to pay anything for it. Uh, I'll be on Memphis, but no, I don't want anything to do with the series price or the money line or anything like that just give me the points here as many as i can get yeah and i think like my whole thing is just firmly based on if the, when the warriors win they'll win big but the flip side is like the warriors against the suns like that's not a that's not a thing right like the suns the suns i think take the warriors fairly easily but i mean i still want to see that series i think that series would be incredible uh but to recap the nba picks here on this pod we're talking Warriors minus six and a half. I'm on the Bucks minus three, the Suns minus one, and the Heat plus one. As mentioned, we try to just give out a pick for every game, which you know, which will be the next game after you listen to this pod. Um, trying to keep the record going here, trying to keep the record good and spicy as we do things here in the NBA. 